Hello. Welcome to uh, Charlie Brown Studios. We're going to talk about how I got here with uh, with my image on the smartphone from uh, from a new camera I got, which is just out of camera shot. But we're going to call this uh, we're going to call this episode evolution or how I got to here today and uh, some of the stuff that I used to get here but uh, see I just put this camera now well, let's show it I am remotely controlling this camera here with my iPhone Okay. So, my new Sony ZV-E10 is being controlled by my iPhone. And uh, you can see I can use my iPhone here to turn off the recording. Stop recording. But there's a lot to cover between how I got to here today. Let's go back about 10 or 12 years to uh, when I was using this camera. This camera is the Sony NEX VG900. Okay. And uh, I believe, I'm pretty sure. Sony shipped it with this lens here. This is a 70 to 400 telephoto lens. Okay, so you can really reach out and uh, and grab somebody with this. You can see it's got quite a reach. Okay. And uh, this does mount onto this camera. Now, obviously this camera has interchangeable lenses because I can change from this lens to this lens. But what I want to show you here you can see it is uh, this is a full frame sensor okay yep it's all there okay so 10 or more years ago I was using a full frame sensor video camera okay with interchangeable lenses just look for the white dot and <coughs> excuse me, put it on there. Okay. Now, if you could see, this is an E mount lens. It says E mount there, it says E mount here on the side of the lens. Okay. You can see it's got electronics in the lens. You can see all those contacts. Okay. So, this is what I was using a while back, was this setup. Okay. And by the way, this camera will use the, uh, the newer lenses I have here too. Okay. Then, well, here's the issue with this camera, or what, what happened to it. This is only a 1080p camera. It's got a frickin' fantastic microphone. Okay. This uh, quad arrangement microphone was really fantastic. Still one of the best microphones I've ever seen or heard put on a video camera. 
Of course, it's got its muff on it. But this is a really great microphone. Sensitive, picked up everything. Okay, and if you notice, it's quad. So you got two front and kind of two rear microphones. Um, really great sound. Okay, so along comes 4K. Okay, and with 4K comes this kind of Sony camera. Okay, this is a really great camera. Okay. Yeah, all these cameras and lenses and everything are fully functional. Okay, so I could turn them all on, shoot video. There you go, there I am. Okay. Um, and this is the camera type I'm currently using. Okay. It's got two memory card slots, lots of memory, big batteries. Okay. Um, the nice thing Sony did was the batteries did not change when they we went from here to, to the newer 4K. Same batteries. Okay. But what we lost was the interchangeable lens. Okay. But honestly, this camera doesn't need it. It can reach out and grab somebody across the field. Of course, it's got the hot shoe. Okay. Just like uh, this camera did. It's got the hot shoe. You can put stuff in there. Attachments. So, as I kind of said, this is only an introduction. I was thinking about this before I started, and I could go for hours literally talking about all the new stuff or new features and stuff we've got in the newer equipment and newer cameras. Okay. And uh, this guy here, the Sony EV10, is my latest camera. Okay. It's still under remote control with my, with my iPhone. So you can see as I move the camera, the image on the iPhone is moving. So. Now I could disconnect that. So the ZV-10 here is no longer under iPhone control. It's under my hand control right now. And uh, one thing we can talk about is batteries. You notice I'm actually powering this from this external battery pack. It's got internal batteries. They're not too bad. Okay. Um, first thing I did was buy four extra batteries and a battery charger. This camera does not come with a battery charger. What they want you to do is plug in this USB cable like that and charge the battery internally. But I'd, much, I'd rather have uh, a bunch of these because I come home and I would charge up like eight batteries at a time from all day's use or whatever. And so I would just have a bunch of these and I'd snap all the batteries in and let them run. This is an interchangeable lens camera. I am actually videoing this segment on my ZV-1, which had a fixed lens camera. The ZV-1 has got a fixed lens, just like this camera. So I went from a big fixed lens to a small fixed lens. And now we've progressed back, I'd actually consider this progress, to interchangeable lenses. Okay. Got a lens on this camera. Let's power it off. Okay. 
Now this lens is interchangeable. It comes off. And you can see in here, this is what they call the APC-C sensor. It's not quite full frame. Remember, this ring here is the same size as the ring I just showed you on the, uh, on the older camera. So, these metal rings are the same size. And you can see on the full frame how the sensor basically goes from corner to corner. And on the APC, the sensor is, is not quite. But here's the deal. Okay. This sensor in the smaller one actually has more pixels, twice as many pixels, as this full frame sensor. Okay. So, this little guy actually gets a better, higher resolution image than the older full frame. Okay, and just to show you, you can take this new lens and put it on that video camera. You can take the lens I just took off and put it on the ZV-1. Okay. I unlock it and you can see this guy is a reach out and touch you, telephoto. So I've just uh, added a lot of capability to my Sony ZV-1 and you can see the lenses are interchangeable. Now technically, yes, I can put this guy on the Sony ZV-1. Okay. Um, that might be an interesting demo or a video one day. But I can put this big 400 millimeter uh, telephoto lens on my Sony ZV-1. Just twist it on and go. Now you can buy the Sony ZV-10. Yeah, Sony ZV-10. Is it written on here? Yep, Sony ZV-E10. Okay, it's written right there. Just like this, without a lens. Okay, and what a lot of photographers or video people like to do is they uh, like to get all kinds of lenses for this, like this one. You'll see a lot of reviews out there on the internet about this lens, and this is a this is a wide angle lens. Okay, I'm getting filters for it. But yeah, this is this is a wide angle lens to really capture a wide image. Okay. Um, and yeah, I could I can take this wide angle lens and put it on Put it on my uh, older video camera here. So now I have a wide angle lens on this camera. You can see interchangeable lenses, how this, you can get, go crazy with all this. Okay, and yes, I do have more lenses than what you're seeing here. So I didn't feel it necessary to bring out and show everything, snapping on and off cameras. This this lens is uh, what Sony basically sells the camera with. Okay, it's a uh, it's a decent lens. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, but. Uh, 
people complain it's not really any improvement over this over the Sony ZV-1 and uh, a lens like this is a vast improvement so this is the Sony or no this is the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 um, f1.4 means uh, this setup will work basically in the dark <laughs> these camera sensors are so sensitive that you can I mean you can uh, you can video via moonlight so a note I've got these out here okay the uh, cameras none of these come with memory cards so you have to get memory cards okay and uh, I just ordered a higher speed version of these memory cards okay these are these are not slouches okay but there's a higher video capture mode and this camera actually on, on my other cameras too I just noticed we got the newer memory cards available or I can actually capture at a higher resolution okay so this is only an introduction so when I get some uh, some filters for the lenses the faster memory cards we can actually go out and shoot video but today this is only welcome to my Sony ZV-E10 and basically I got there by going to a camera or started with a camera like this this is a 1080p went to a 4k camera like this one with fixed lenses and now we're back to interchangeable lenses so I basically started with a full frame sensor interchangeable lens camera went to this 4k camera um, by the way this, this is a great camera don't don't let me put it down this is this is a fantastic camera I still use this daily okay to this little beast with interchangeable lenses which can do a lot and I mean a lot and I, I it's going to take many 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 videos to go over everything this thing can do so but that's all for today um, Charlie Brown is trying to make a phone call on my phone here hey dude he's learned he can step on the buttons okay so Charlie Brown has joined the party there he is he reminded me I didn't say anything about this grip okay um, this grip is fantastic okay I've got actually I got two look at that this one's for my ZV-1 and uh, this one is paired with my ZV-E10 here and you can see you can put it on and uh, I really like this setup and the ZV E10 brought back the old-fashioned camera strap where you just strap it around your neck and have the camera hanging well they brought that back so um, in many ways the camera body is new technology but the lenses the strap the handle okay are, are the best of kind of old stuff and old worlds okay Charlie's also reminding me by sitting on the battery to show you this was this is the battery from my uh, current 
big Sony video cameras. And uh, this battery is for the ZV-10. You can see my old, my current, actually no, there's nothing old about this. This is, this is a current battery I use. Is, uh, is pretty huge compared to the whole Sony ZV-E10 camera. So yeah, there's, uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on here, but this grip is fantastic. Okay, it will start and stop your recording. And I've actually, using this grip here as a remote control to start and stop the camera I'm talking on with you. See, I'll stop it. There you go, I started it. And I don't know if you can hear it, but Charlie's a little purr monster going nuts all over the new camera. Okay. Of course we got lens covers. Cover the lens. So, Charlie, you've got a hair on here already. We'll have to de-hair this now. D. Charlie Herrett. But yeah, battery charges. I have a lot, because I have a lot of batteries. Okay. I have a lot of these battery packs. Okay, these so-called USB power battery packs. I have a lot of these too. They, they come in handy. Okay, this so also power my iPhone. So this has many uses and I actually have many sizes of this. This is this is actually my smallest one. I've got bigger. And uh, technically for those of you who know what I'm talking about, I've got a big 60 pound version of this sitting in my automobile. What do you think Charlie? Are we done for today? I think so. I think that's enough of an introduction. As I said, I'll be back and there is a lot to talk about here. Okay, this, this is a great little camera. Okay, now I don't use it, I mean I got it for like a vlogging style because I like the way the ZV-1 works. I can talk into the microphone and stuff like that. But if you'll notice, I'm not really interested in being in the camera shot. I'm more or less talking about stuff. Okay, and this camera's got a product showcase mode where it would focus on stuff here, but it's disabled at the moment. So I can do stuff like keep Charlie Brown in focus and have a camera here at the same time. Yeah, as I said, I can talk for hours. But uh, that's an introduction. And uh, here's the big thing. We have interchangeable lenses again. Take that lens off. Put on a great wide angle lens. Line up the white dots. There we go. That's the secret. Look for the white dot and put on the lens. There, that's the white dot I'm talking about right there. Yep. You can see the difference in the lenses. And uh, as I said, if I really wanted to go to the extreme, Well, imagine this little camera with this lens. I think that's kind of taking it to the extreme. But I guess we'll have to do that one day. <laughs>